The Christians believe in the concept of Trinity, that is the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. Does this mean that they believe in only one God? The word Trinity, it is not in the Bible. The word Trinity, it is present in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, Surah An-Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 171. Don't say Trinity. This is, it is better for you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran, Surah Al-Ma'idah, chapter number 5, verse number 73. They do blaspheme. They do kufr who say, Allah is one and three in a trinity. And there is no God except for one God. And if they do not desist from what they are saying, then a painful punishment will befall the disbelievers from among them. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly says in the glorious Quran that we need to believe in one God alone. And this, the word Trinity, it is not present in the Bible. The closest verse to the concept of Trinity, it is the first epistle of John, chapter number 5, verse number 7. For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word and the Holy Ghost. And these three are not three but they are one. Now this verse of the first epistle of John, chapter number 5, verse number 7, according to, in the RSV, this verse according to 32 scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 different cooperating denominations, they believe, they have thrown this verse out of the Bible. So if you read the RSV, that is the Revised Standard Version of the Bible, this verse, it has been removed. It has not been removed by Muslims, it has not been removed by non-Christian scholars, it has been removed by 32 scholars of the highest eminence, backed by 50 different cooperating denominations. They say that this was not present in the original manuscript and they have removed it from the Bible. I would like to thank these 32 scholars. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly says in the glorious Quran, Surah Al-Ikhlas, chapter number 112, verse number 1, Qul Allahu ahad, say he is Allah one and only. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he never said Trinity but he said that we should believe in one God alone and in fact it is mentioned in the Bible in the Gospel of Mark chapter number 12 verse number 29 Jesus Christ peace be upon him said Shama Israelo Adonai Ilahi no Adonai Khad Your Israel the Lord our God is one Lord and Jesus Christ peace be upon him he never claimed divinity in fact, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said it is mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 28. My father is greater than I. Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 29. My father is greater than all. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 28. I cast out devil with the spirit of God. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20. I with the finger of God, cast out devil. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just, for I seek not my will, but the will of my father. Anyone who says, I seek not my will, but the will of my, but the will of Almighty God, he is a Muslim. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was a Muslim. So Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he never claimed divinity. He was one of the mightiest messengers of God. According to the Catechism of the Christian Church, they say that the Father is a person, the Son is a person, the Holy Ghost is a, the Holy Spirit is a person. But these three are not three persons, but they are one person. Each person is different from the other person, but they say these three are not three, but they are one. What language is this? One plus one plus one is equal to three, not one. But this is what the Christians believe in. And this is what is taught to the Christians by the church. And if you ask a Christian, that regarding the father so he will have a particular mental picture in his mind of someone who's sitting up in the heaven with earth as his footstool if you ask the christian regarding 
the sun they have a particular mental picture a distinctive mental picture of someone who is like a handsome person tall handsome who's fair someone like jeffrey the hunter who acted like jesus christ peace be upon him in the movie the king of kings when you ask the christians regarding the holy spirit they have a particular mental picture in their mind something like a dove that came to jesus christ peace be upon him the dove that came in the feast of pentecost but when you ask the christian regarding the concept of trinity and when you ask him that how many mental pictures do you see so the christian will tell you he sees only one mental picture he sees only one mental picture there are three distinctive people but when you ask the christian how many people are there in reference to the concept of christianity so they say only one 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 3 and not 1 so the christians they believe in this concept of trinity and this is totally against the teachings of islam and in fact it is even against the teachings of christianity if you read the bible you will clearly understand that a person needs to believe in one god alone and this god has got no images has got no idols and jesus christ peace be upon him he never claimed divinity but in fact he was one of the mightiest messengers of god